Pinocchio 2002 film. Pinocchio is a 2002 Italian fantasy comedy drama film written, directed, and starring Roberto Benigni. It is based on the 1883 novel The Adventures of Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi with Benigni portraying Pinocchio. Filming took place in Italy and Calcara, Malta. It was dedicated to costume and production designer Danilo Donati, who died on 1 December 2001. The film was released in Italy on 11 October 2002 by Medusa Distribuzioni, which was met with mixed reviews. It received an English language dub in the United States in December 2002, released by Muramax. This version was critically panned. Pinocchio was selected as the Italian entry for the Best Foreign Language Film at the 75th Academy Awards, but it was not nominated. Plot A magical log falls off a wagon, stopping at Geppetto's door. The woodcarver creates a puppet from the log named Pinocchio. It surprisingly comes to life and is very mischievous. Pinocchio runs away and along the street, turning the town upside down. The carpenter is blamed and taken to prison by the carabinieri, while Pinocchio escapes. Back home, a talking cricket scolds him for his behavior. This annoys Pinocchio, so he throws a hammer at him. Tired and hungry, he falls asleep with his feet on the brazier. Geppetto saves him from the flames when he returns. Wanting to be forgiven, Pinocchio promises he will go to school and study. Geppetto sells his only coat to buy school books for him. However, the naughty puppet goes on several adventures, dreading school. Joining a puppet theater, Pinocchio is almost eaten by the puppet, Master Mangiafuoco. Lying to get out of the situation, he is given five gold coins. He then meets the fox and the cat who trick him out of his money, telling him to plant it to grow a money tree. Blue Fairy encourages Pinocchio to give up his obnoxious ways and saves him from being hanged. She gives Pinocchio medicine and coffin-bearing rabbits dressed as undertakers appear when he initially refuses it, so he immediately takes it. Pinocchio lies when the Blue Fairy asks about the gold coins, saying he lost them, and his nose grows. She tells him there are two types of lies, those with short legs and those with long noses. Pinocchio promises her from then on he will work hard to be good. Pinocchio finds the fox and the cat again, who remind him of his coins. While Pinocchio is waiting for the tree to grow, they dig them up and run off and the talking cricket tells him. He then tells the judges about the fox and cat and is sentenced to five years in jail for foolishness. While there, Pinocchio meets Lucignolo Leonardo in English, a thief. Geppetto continues searching for Pinocchio. Four months later, during the celebration of the king's son's birth, Pinocchio is set free when he convinces the warden he is a crook. He stumbles across the grave of the blue fairy, who supposedly died of grief because of his antics. A dove tells Pinocchio his father was heading out to sea to look for him. Pinocchio arrives at the shore finding Geppetto on his ship. Pinocchio nearly drowns trying to save his father, then washes up by a city where he helps a lady carry her pitchers. Arriving at her home, he sees she is the blue fairy in disguise who faked her death to forgive Pinocchio. Starting anew, on his way to school he gets into a fight. A kid throws a book at him, he ducks, and it hits Eugenio, who loses consciousness. Thinking he is dead, the others run away, leaving Pinocchio at the scene. The carabinieri arrive, Eugenio is taken to the hospital, and Pinocchio is arrested. Upon nearing the Blue Fairy's house, he escapes, ending up in a great farmer's trap. Pinocchio is freed by Lucignolo and returns to the Blue Fairies, where he admits he did not go to school. She forgives him. The next day, the people at the school arrive at the Blue Fairy's party where the schoolmaster presides. Pinocchio leaves to look for Lucignolo. Lucignolo tells him he is on a trip to Fun Forever Land. All is play and no work or school. Later that night, they board a stagecoach bound for Fun Forever Land together. When there, Pinocchio has some fun while the cricket is trying to find him. 
when he does he tries to warn them all they will turn into donkeys if they do not leave the next day Pinocchio awakens to find that he has sprouted donkey ears and goes to find Lucignalo. the cricket arrives telling him the boys turned donkeys are sold for hard labor Pinocchio soon becomes a donkey and is sold to a circus ringmaster during his performance Pinocchio gets hurt and is thrown into the sea the blue fairy appears on the shore he emerges from the water in his normal form vowing to make up for his misdeeds she warns him about a giant shark reuniting with Geppetto inside he apologizes and they escape together Pinocchio takes Geppetto to a farm to help him recover working there he finds Lucignalo's donkey form dying in a stable and mourns his death leaving outside that night the blue fairy Medoro and the cricket visit rewarding his efforts to strive for moral prudence the blue fairy transforms him into a real boy the film ends with Pinocchio going to school while his shadow as a puppet chases a butterfly cast differences from the novel in making the film Binningley tried to be as faithful as possible to Collodi's work but there are a few differences between them Geppetto finds the piece of wood on the street whereas in the book it is given to him by master Syllogia who does not appear in the film furthermore in the film it is specified that the piece of wood is pine in the book it is not specified which tree the log comes from in the film Mangiafuoco angry with Pinocchio for spoiling his puppet show shows his intention to eat him for lunch in the book he would like to use him as firewood to cook a mutton roast in the book the fox pretends to be lame and the cat pretends to be blind while in the film they do not have disabilities in the book Pinocchio had to defend himself from the killers who tried to open his mouth to take the gold coins he bites off the hand of one of the two and then spitting it on the ground realizes that it is actually a cat's paw in the film this detail is omitted in the film Pinocchio met Lucignalo for the first time in prison when he was arrested by the carabinieri of Achia Pasatrelli, accusing the cat and the fox for the theft of gold coins in the book he met him at school when he moved to the country of the industrious bees the king of Achaea Pasitrelli decides to free the prisoners from prisons to celebrate the birth of his son not for a military victory as in the book when Pinocchio is arrested by the carabinieri who believe that he has hit Eugenio he escapes from the carabinieri upon seeing the blue fairy and then ends up in the field of the farmer who hires him as a guard dog where in the book Pinocchio also escapes from the farmer thanks to Lucignalo who wants to steal chickens instead of Martin's in the book Pinocchio regains his freedom by completing the aforementioned task furthermore in the film the kidnapping by the master of Melampo replaces that by the green fisherman in the book the first occurs after his ordeal in Achia Pasitrelli and before Pinocchio finds the alleged tomb of the blue fairy in the film after the misfortune with the farmer who forces him to watch over him Pinocchio returns home still chained and full of shame and when the blue fairy asks him how the day went the puppet's nose grows long due to the lies he tells however in the book after running away from the green fisherman who had stripped and flowered Pinocchio to fry him Pinocchio obtains a dress from a bag for the lupins and returning home is left out in the cold all night because the snail whom he asks to open it takes nine hours to reach the door when Pinocchio and Lucignalo realize that they are being turned into donkeys in the land of toys the talking cricket speaks to Pinocchio of his ignorance while in the book the puppet is warned by his roommate the dormouse in addition the talking cricket also replaces the parrot who warns Pinocchio of the theft of the coins by the cat and the fox when Pinocchio is transformed into a donkey he is led to a circus and injures himself by jumping a circle of fire and the circus director when he realizes that the donkey has broken his leg sends his clowns to drown him in the sea but in the book the circus director decides to sell Pinocchio to a drum seller who himself drowns the puppet not the clowns when Pinocchio returns to being a puppet 
the fairy aware of the giant shark that was chasing him maintains her human aspect in the film instead of becoming a goat as in the book when pinocchio meets geppetto in the shark's mouth the puppet brings his father to safety by irritating him by taking his wig in the book they flee on the back of a tuna already met by pinocchio as soon as he is swallowed who does not appear in the film while the shark sleeps whereas in the film when pinocchio meets geppetto he pretends to be a tuna but after a while he reveals his true identity to the father because geppetto is initially angry with him a similar scene also happened in the 1947 film adaptation of the same book release to promote the film's release mcdonald's sold happy meals containing toys that each resembled a character of the film in the united states and canada muramax released the film on christmas day with no advance screening muramax said that this is because they needed to do post-production looping to insert the english dub for its english-speaking release edward guthman a film reviewer for the san francisco chronicle thought that this was because muramax knew the film would not be well received and sought to have it released before critics placed their opinions on the film the english version includes some differences such as changed dialogues some shortened scenes and narration by david such it added after the english dubbed version was poorly received muramax reissued the film in italian with english subtitles on february 7 2003 reception box office in italy and europe Pinocchio grossed over $7 million within the first three days of its release. It went on to gross $3.67 million in the United States and $37.07 million in other territories of which EUR26 million was in Italy, for a worldwide total of $41. Critical Reception Original Version Pinocchio received mixed reviews. Some praised the sets, costumes, photography, and soundtrack, but criticized the characters and humor. David Rooney of Variety wrote, In Roberto Benigni's take on Carlo Collodi's classic fairy tale, Pinocchio, the spirit of the late Federico Fellini with whom Benigni talked of doing the project together surfaces repeatedly. But that spirit fails to enliven a film substantially lacking in personality, energy, magic, and humor, but the humor, but the can humor, but the humor, the union between the Tuscan fairy tale and the region's most talented contemporary offspring would seem like the perfect marriage. In fact, it comes off as artificially exuberant and a little precious. Pinocchio went on to receive six nominations at the David de Donatello Awards, winning two in the process best sets and decorations and best costumes both to Danilo Donati. It was also nominated for at the Italian National Syndicate of Film Journalists. American Version The English-dubbed recut version by Muramax was met with critical panning in the United States. On review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, the English-language version of the film, with 55 reviews, has a rare approval rating of 0%, meaning no favorable reviews whatsoever, receiving an average rating of 2.70-10. The site's consensus states, Roberto Benigni misfires wildly with this adaptation of Pinocchio, and the result is an unfunny, poorly made, creepy vanity project. Metacritic gave the film an 11-100 based on 15 critics, which suggests overwhelming dislike, 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 dislike. Jonathan Rosebaum stated on Chicago Reader that the recut American version is truly awful, but a good 75% of the awfulness is attributable to Muramax. Amongst other issues, the English dub was heavily criticized, with many critics founding that Breckenmayer chosen as Benigny's voice was too young. David Noah Film Journal International referred to Mayer's performance as a ridiculously inappropriate Valley Boy voice. Alvis Mitchell of the New York Times stated that the voices are so sloppy you might feel as if you're watching a 1978 Hong Kong action picture. The dubbed mouths of the Italian cast are probably still moving an hour after the film is over. Mitchell also called it an oddity that will be avoided by millions of people 
and criticized Binningley's decision to play the titular character, opining that his role as Pinocchio is as believable as Diana Ross playing Dorothy in The Wiz. Ken Fox of TV Guide wrote, There is no getting past the shockingly poorly dubbed voice work of the English-speaking cast, mayor and physically. He's actually quite good, and the art direction is often exquisite, and the anthropomorphic animal characters are beautifully realized through clever makeup design. Accolades The original version was nominated for six David Di Donatello Awards winning two and three Nastro d'Argento winning one. David Di Donatello Best Sets and Decorations Danilo Donati won Best Costumes Danilo Donati won Best Actor Roberto Benigni Supporting Actor Kim Rossi Stewart Best Cinematography Dante Spinati Best Score Nicola Pivani Nastro d'Argento Nastro d'Argento for Best Score Nicola Pivani won Vani won Vani won Vani won and he won Best Supporting Actor Best Producer Nicoletta Brasti, the English dub, was nominated for six Golden Raspberry Awards, a first for a foreign language film, and won one. Worst Picture, Worst Director, Worst Screenplay, Worst Actor, Roberto Benigni, dubbed Godzilla Style by Brecken Mayer, won. Worst Remake or Sequel, Make or Sequel, Sequel, Worst Screen Couple, Roberto Benigni and Nicoletta Brasjai.